Welcome back, everyone. Hello. It's a new day, new uh, recording session. It's um, just the day after. Uh, uh it's, yeah, especially for our audience, it's just it's just the next day for you. Mm-hmm. Or so we're just uh, so you know what we're not gonna let you miss a beat and just inform you that look at this new armor. Mm-hmm. So um, I had some time this morning before Cameron came over. And um, got decided to give uh, Blevin and Alistair full Jagras armor and weapons. I think we made the weapon. Oh uh, yeah, we made the after, weapon last time. After the last episode, maybe. But um, Alistair is rocking a pretty cool club that also looks like a musket too. <laughs> a little gun there. But um, I'll show you real quick, Cameron, because I told you before the very first armor sets you get only the headpiece has a skill. Mm -hmm. Well. This is what you're going to be more looking at later on is, um, actually let me go to skill info. Each piece is going to have a skill. Nice. And we can kind of mix and match and make them, make our skills more powerful. And there's a whole detail into it, but we'll get onto it later. But so basically the charm, you know, gave us an attack boost and a defense boost. Mm -hmm. With the Jagras armor, we get five other separate skills. Fortify, so if I ever fall in, um... If I ever faint in the game, uh, you return back to base camp mm -hmm. by getting an attack and defense boost. Nice. So basically, I come back stronger. Speeding is one of my personal favorite skills. So basically, I can drink and eat. I can eat meats and drink potions and stuff faster because there's always an animation for it. And win and win eating contests. Yes, exactly. And then this one's good for Alistair. He gets a attack and defense boost. You there? No, oh, I'm listening. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. And then we can we can go faster when we crawl, and small monsters probably won't be attacking us that often. So okay, all pretty good skills. I like them. Oh 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 no oh no! I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. No, this sorry. is this is the problem. Like when we watch videos right before we record. Mm -hmm. So we forget to turn the volume back off. Absolutely. I was showing him the new Ryu and Sakura DLC that's going to be in this game pretty soon. Yeah, which is uh, pretty interesting. At least they made a, the trailer look cool with mm -hmm. it. Alright, so basically what we did in the last uh, recording session is, you know, we got to the new world. We killed stuff. Let's go. There. You know what? <laughs> I think you're starting to get the game. <laughs> But, um, we killed some Jagrasses, we killed a great Jagras, so we helped solve the Jagras problem, and now we're going to go on a expedition. Okay. Do, 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 yeah, do. gonna explore new, what, gonna explore new territory, new lands, get us a girl named Sacagawea, and we're gonna make this a thing. Yeah. So, um, we have the resource center, and basically we can go out in the field, collect stuff to gain resource points, they're like a second currency. And um, if we complete their request, we basically get to... It helps okay. us advance the story, the and we um, um, also... It's like kind of a way we right get to now, make side quests. Uh, fulfill side quests. So we're now in Asteria. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Explain things to me. To explore, right? Oh, I thought that said indecent to explore, and I'm like... Wait, it's indecent to explore? Apparently... Damn! Right up our alley. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin, begin the expedition. So, <clears throat> expedition, I kind of like them. Let's Basically, we're place. able to explore this place, and there's going to be monsters roaming around, so we can hunt as many monsters without having to leave, because in the other Monster Hunter games, most of the time you did a quest, you had a time limit. Uh, here, there are no time limits. Yeah, I remember the uh, the last one we did with um, our lizard friend. That one had a time limit. It did. Yeah. No, but it was it was a it was a decent time limit, like 50 minutes. So, oh, also, I wanted to show you real quick, I did not show everything that the Switch Axe can do. I mean, you selected this weapon, so you should at least be able to know what this bad boy can do. I wanted to show you real quick. So, you know, this is the axe part. Yes. Um, I can do some pretty cool hits. Like, you saw me doing this thing where I was just swinging like a madman. Yes. Well, if I wanted to, I could get into, I can go into sword mode by pressing R2. Mm -hmm. It's a huge combo that goes into sword mode. Mm -hmm. but That's you how you do that. But you remember when um, I fought the Great Jagras and I mounted him? Yeah. I stuck my sword at him and did like a big explosion? Yes. What if I told you I can do that on command? 
Oh, nice. Aha! And it takes me right back to axe mode because it uses up some uh, some power. But okay. those are just the things I failed to show you, and I wanted you to check that out. Huh. Although that that does seem really cool, it does seem like it's not going to be that helpful if like the creature can just move. That's why, like you saw moments where I attacked his foot and he knocked over. It's, yeah. It, the perfect time to use those is whoa. when he has that belly exposed. Whoa. There's some. Um... Wait a second, I've seen Jurassic Park. I know where this ends up. Oh, there's monsters fighting each other. What's... Oh, oh, I think I know what's going on. One second. Where? Well, it's not Lava Bro, that's for damn sure. No. Because he would have just beat their ass and moved on with his life. It says there's a great j Jagras. Uh, oh, well. But um, there's more. To, there's more things that we can do here besides setting up a camp. There's also a little side quest for um, Alistair, which you know our goal is to get Alistair as powerful as we. Whoa! Oh, hey, big boy! Whoa! He's. I'm gonna. Leave... Oh, he's on a mission. He. I'm gonna leave him alone. He feels like I think he's doing his own thing. Yeah, that that is a determined walk. So if you want to look over here, Cameron. You know, there's footprints and stuff, but there's doodles, doodles. of footprints. It'd be more precisely, what does that look like to you? Uh, that looks like you a cat person. A target mm -hmm. destination for your scout flies on the map. So someone native to the area said, "Oh look, I'll draw a cat person." Pretty much, yeah. And basically, we're going to get Alistair to join some tribes. Ah, yeah. Oh wait. The dairy goes again. It looks like he finished his business. Uh, apparently. Maybe he had to take a poo. Uh, you, he would leave his house to take a poo. <laughs> it's a bad one. I mean, you know, I wouldn't be. Around, I wouldn't want to be around that. I, I mean, I've I've had I've had some some you know intense bathroom experiences in my <laughs> life, but you know, if anything, I would want to be home when that happens. You know, it, it's a you know a place of comfort. And I don't have to worry about germs. But the thing is, he's in his cave. That kind of lingers, you know. And do you think he gives a damn? Probably not. Probably. Probably. It's 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 his own stuff. It just go. He just goes completely numb to it after a while. <laughs> so if like what happens when you li live in your own place for a while, you're just used to your own stink. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's like those uh, Febreze commercials that they're showing a lot lately. It's like, you smell this, but your guests smell this. <laughs> and it's like, uh, you don't smell your trash can, but your uh, guests smell like an entire city dumpster. Yeah. Now, it's, I hate to say it like this, but, um, ooh, Alistair feels like there's Grimmelite. Uh, Grimmelkind? Grimmelkind? I guess that's how you pronounce it. Sure. Yeah. Whatever, but yeah, he. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, the tribe, um, uh, Palicos. Um, I was about to say something. Yes. Uh, so we had a friend that unfortunately was kind of like that. He had a um, a body odor that uh, you just knew he was around yep. just by smelling him. You see, I don't even have to ask who you're talking about. I knew exactly who you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Which is, which is, you know, a little saddening because, you know, I, like, tried to talk to him about it once, and it just did not seem to be clicking. Yeah. I know there's, uh, there's another person that I, that we both know who kind of had the same thing, but it actually, um, he couldn't help it. Um, I can tell you who it is. Like, I don't want to name names. Uh, of course not. Yeah. No, no, no. Especially since some of our friends actually do support us and watch this occasionally. Yes, occasionally. Although it was kind of hilarious. Like, I was talking to my mom. She's like, um, so how did uh, hanging out with Mac go? went good. We uh, recorded a bit and then got to watch an awesome pay-per-view. And uh, she goes, recorded? What, you recorded the pay-per-view? I went, no, mom. No, I, we recorded some video game stuff. She's like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, your own mother uh, forgets uh, that. I'm like, this. thanks, mom. <laughs> Thank you for the support. <laughs> but honestly, I don't blame her for forgetting. Sometimes she's—you see, she's a school teacher. Yes, absolutely. So, 
It get, I, I don't blame her for forgetting things every now and then. Because, <laughs> like, I don't, you know, sometimes I look back, I'm like, I must have been an annoying kid because, you know, sometimes, like, you know, dealing with little kids and how they have to, they say random things, it's like, you know, I applaud your mom for being able to put up with it yeah. all the time. Because now I'm realizing, like, kids say the most random things ever. <laughs> Well, I was, I was listening to an Irish comedian, and he actually talked about uh, he, when he was younger, he got the greatest glimpse into parenthood that he ever could um, by being on the train one day, and mm-hmm. this uh, little kid was with his mom, and he goes, I know she was his mom, because he said the word about 500 times. And each, t- and every and every time, he, he would like follow up with something completely innocuous, just like... Mom, 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 mom. Yes, that man has a hat. <laughs> it's a very nice hat, too. <laughs> and, and actually, like, at one point, he goes, and the greatest line she ever said in return, at, like, at one point, he goes, Mom, 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 mom. And she goes, I cannot believe how happy I was the first time I heard you say that word. Because <laughs> you're going to be hearing a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, now I wish you would find another word in your vocabulary. <laughs> oh, but kids don't. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, my mom, uh, she's a damn miracle worker with her students. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, you've told me some of the things she's Yeah, done. she's, she's, oh gosh, she has a patience that is far surpassing that of a saint. Mm-hmm. Mainly because I've met a lot of the kids that she works with, and I don't know if I could. I don't. I, you know, I'm not even gonna say I don't think I could do it. I know I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely no, for fact, I would be fired. <laughs> First day, I'm done. I'm yeah. done. I, I'm firing myself. Yeah, just I like grab the bag, walk out, walk past the office, and say. I release myself from this. They are your monsters now. <laughs> so I guess the game has to let me, has to have me do some other things real quick before we can go meet the tribes. You, you've just been like Tarzan sliding through this jungle. Oh, it's fun. I love it. Um, but up around there is where I'm. We're supposed to be able to meet a um, a uh, a palico from the tribe, and then we're we're supposed to follow him. And unfortunately, um, I couldn't make that happen. So we have to do the actual story now, pretty much. <laughs> oh, right, we're getting back on track, people. We're getting back on track. Because I think the I'm just kind of I'm retracing my steps from the first time I played this. I'm going pretty much. I'm finding this uh, new campsite the way I found it before. On accident. Then I kind of dropped it. Yeah, I kind of jumped <laughs> off a high place and then found it. Yeah, you're pretty much round up. You know, I know games like this encourage exploration, but I don't know if they quite intended for that to be the norm. Mm, you, you don't know. Yeah, we really want our players to find the next waypoint on total accident. Okay, let's try this. We Point... And you no longer have shins, knees, or ankles. <laughs> because they have all just shattered into at least 50 pieces a joint. What do you mean fancy meeting someone new out here? Weren't you expecting us? Uh, that's, that's not her. She's a researcher, so she's well, I, I realize this is a different person, but didn't they say, like, hey, we're going to be sending other people? That's what I thought. And there's another person right over here. I'd say instead of it being a pleasant surprise. Oh, sorry, it's not a pleasant surprise for you. Jeez, you jerk. <laughs> I'd say it's like, oh, it's only been the three of us out here for a while. Hey, man, how's it going? All right, so we're going. And he beat us here, of course. Oh yeah, that's to be expected. Okay, so this oh, is the new. Yep, the new uh, campsite. And it's apparently being occupied by a monster. It's stealing pottery? Akulu Yaku. 
<laughs> and it is not a fan of us. Apparently not. Because they just decided to go three stooges, turn around, see us, and think they oh, saw a ghost, and go, ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, basically now they're saying, oh, we gotta go take care of that pest. Why? It is literally more scared of us than we are of it. It's gonna keep going back to the camp and stealing stuff. It... Are you serious? That's, uh, I, I guess, they, they pretty much made, inspired that thing off of the, um, the egg eater dinosaurs or whatever you call them. So it's kind of like that. But, um, I think this is a pretty good stopping point considering I got lost too, so. Alright, until next time everybody, we're gonna go hunt ourselves this weird flamingo raccoon thief. Rapper? What, uh, raptor? Not rapper, raptor. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, next time everyone. <laughs>